Hi everyone, I'm Rachel and this is Eli. We're going to be taking over Glow Dream today. Um, nothing too exciting. We have a few things on today uh, that involve a lot of cleaning um, and I also work from home. So I'm just going to be coming to chat with you guys in between emails and phone calls and Eli will come and say hi as well. He is a bit sick so let's just see how he goes today. We are just sitting on the bed at the moment. Um, I am pregnant, so I came in here to get some dirty clothes to do some washing. But um, I had to just sit down for a minute because, yeah, I'm too. So we've just popped out for a little walk today. Um, there was nothing in my freezer to cook for dinner, so I just thought I'd just go to the supermarket quickly and grab something. Um, we also went to the cafe and got some iced chai lattes and now we are on our way home as i mentioned i am 25 weeks pregnant so things are progressively getting slower for me um just little things like walking and picking up stuff around the house and even playing with eli i find i'm getting a lot more tired very quickly um so this morning I was meant to do some cleaning, but I just wanted to step out and get some fresh air because Eli was quite restless. Um, but when I get home, I'll get back into it because we do have an inspection tomorrow. And also I have a few phone calls I need to do for work. So I'm hoping Eli will be good for me so I can get all that done. So this is Eli's room. He's in here at the moment touching things he shouldn't be touching. Um, we keep it very minimal in here. I don't put any of his toys in here because now that I'm pregnant, I can't see what's in front of me because my belly's too big. Um, and I tend to step on little things and trip over little things. So to avoid that, we don't keep a lot of his toys in, in here. Just a few things that he can play with. Um, his glow dream is actually up here. It's on the green setting and it is, um, got some oils in it at the moment. He does have a runny nose, so I put it on an hour before bedtime so that his room starts to smell a bit nicer and um, it's more comfortable for him to sleep in. No full um, sleep routine. He goes for one nap a day, so he just sort of lets me know when he wants to go to sleep. I just sort of look out for the signals and he'll go down for usually about two hours um, around midday. But um, yeah. Just put Eli down in his room. It's 12.30. I'm hoping he sleeps for at least two hours so I can get some work done. I work full time four days from home and also one day in office. Uh, that one day Eli does go to daycare, but because he is sick, I did not send him this week. Um, I work in recruitment, so I have a lot of emails to catch up on and a lot of phone calls and interviews to do today. So I'm hoping I can smash all that out um, while he's asleep. There is a lot of washing that I need to hang out and I'm hoping to prep dinner while he is napping as well. See how we go. Fingers crossed. Eli dropped his second nap when he was around 10 months old, um, which was fine. We just sort of let him uh, pick and choose when he wants to sleep. And it kind of works at my um, schedule anyway, working from home, that he has one solid nap during the day. Thank you. Um, I feel as large as a house today. So this comment is super sweet. So thank you for sending it through. And my Eli is 14 months old. So to answer your question about working from home, um, it is very hard. Eli is such an active kid, so he always wants to be out and about and he always needs attention. So I'm lucky that I have a work phone so I can sit with him and play with him um, while I'm on my work phone, replying to emails. I try and schedule all my calls and all my interviews for when he is down for a nap. If he isn't down for a nap um, and he's struggling to sleep and he's sitting in my interviews, um, my candidates are quite um, understanding. So they know that I'm a mom and I work from home. And also it's kind of cute because they um, kind of relax more when they see Eli in their interviews with them. <laughs> Um, but look, one step at a time, open communication with your workplace, um, and just don't be so hard on yourself if you don't get anything done because it's tough out here. 
steps. Eli puts himself to sleep. Um, he never used to. This took a lot of commitment and consistency for him to do this. But he is in there at the moment with a glow dream and a bottle. And he is putting himself to sleep as we speak. So I have half an hour until my next work call. So I just quickly hung some washing out and um, tidied up a little bit. So now I'm just prepping our dinner for tonight. I have just made some breadcrumbs with some parmesan garlic. Uh, parsley salt and pepper and I'm just breading our chicken I'm just going to store it in a um, container until it's ready to be cooked like I am going to leave my cooking handle below I do a lot of cooking on Instagram and it would be great if you could pop over and give me a follow Eli just um, spat water all over himself so I'm going to use that opportunity to take him for an early bath and I'm going to go for a shower myself um, <laughs> I just wanted to thank Glow Dream for having us today. It was a very um, fun. <laughs> I just did a lot of cleaning and working, but it's always nice to just sort of chat to other mums in the DM and um, talking to myself on camera has been as uncomfortable as I remember. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Also, leaving my handles below if you want to follow. I have a personal page and also my cooking page. Thanks, guys. Bye.